Good morning, everybody. Thanks for thanks for joining uh, this webinar uh, where we talk about uh, uh, TM Insights. You know what can we do with transportation management and um, the Analytics Cloud platform. I have my colleague uh, with me. Mark, over to you just to introduce, and I take over from here. Yeah. Good morning to everyone. Um, Mark Morozek, Practice Director for Business Planning Analytics. As Thorsten already mentioned, today we want to talk about our latest real-time dashboard for transportation management, TM Insights, and I'm really happy that you participate in this webinar. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, to just move on, um, we want to talk about the agenda for, for a minute and then go into the details. Uh, what we want to cover during the webinar is uh, we want to look into um, how does it work actually, you know, which data do we gather, um, how do we set up the analytics cloud platform, how does it interact you know, with the transportation process. Um, in the in the in the next step, then is really to look at use cases. You know, what have we seen at customers? What have we implemented at customers? What are we talking about? And what do we see for the future? Um, in our KPI dashboard, you know, we will we will explain you um, why the Analytics Cloud Platform and what makes it uh, uh, unique and 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 beneficial to you. And then really pick up, pick uh, on on a few um, key figures, a few key key KPIs and um, presented to you uh, live in the system. And we want to wrap up uh, by explaining a little bit how roles and responsibilities could look like, you know, which dashboard, which information for which role, and, you know, which responsibility can be supported with a certain setup of dashboards with a certain um, KPI mix here. So that's what we cover in webinar today. And we want to look, as I said, how do we get the information actually? Um, we have prepared an end-to-end -end scenario, which should cover more or less 80% of uh, customers uh, or shippers or manufacturers or uh, carriers, LSPs, end-to-end um, -end supply chain. You might not go uh, from continent to continent. You might stay more regional or you might stay um, you know, within a certain area, but we, we, we made it a little bit bigger to actually cover uh, uh, yeah, the end-to-end -end process when you look at, at international overseas shipments as well. In this end-to-end -end process, we have, you know, of course, your own data, you have your own orders, you have your own control of the process, but also you have many actors, you know, supporting your transportation process and having a key role in the end-to-end -end transportation process. You have also many uh, transportation stages, either, you know, being at road or air or ocean, rail transport, and with this, uh, different challenges comes, different actors comes, different ways of com communicating uh, to those actors come into play and all share information with you. And I bet that most of the companies have this information today, either you know in an email, um, in an Excel spreadsheet or via phone call, but probably not centralized in one, in one platform. And, and, and we want to talk about that. Um, this picture you always see or you often see nowadays, you know, when it comes to visibility and when it comes to resilience of your supply chain, etc. But we want to use this picture really to uh, visualize complexity, but also, you know, how, how do we uh, gather actually the data which we need? How do we react on, on, on data changes here? And how do we make those data visible for your, our internal stakeholders, but also visible for customers, you know, when you talk about an end-to-end process and when you have your customer service on the phone uh, with your with your important customer and there's some information uh, which should be exchanged. And at the end, you know, we also want to highlight how can you automate uh, certain certain steps, certain KPIs and certain alerting uh, of your supply chain so that you can be more proactive and not be in a reactive state um, as we have seen with a lot of companies in the past in the past years. All of this will be powered, you know, by the Analytics Cloud Platform and the SAP backends uh, uh, below that. Um, here in the TM Insights webinar, of course, transportation management, but it could also be another platform. Um, so, what what is the basic of our of our uh, process control, and what are the the most uh, what are the data we are we are actually looking at? I mean, first we look at the end-to-end -end process as I have described, but then we look into task activities and sub-processes. The extractors, you know, which the SAP solution and TM specifically um, provides to the cloud platform 
are very detailed, are very process oriented, and can be um, you know configured in a way that you get really uh, your key data into your into your platform so that you can analyze uh, the end-to-end -end process, but also be informed about any de de deviations. Yeah, uh, in the context of um, being more proactive than reactive. Um, of course, it helps us to compare plant information, plant timestamps, or plant weights, plant uh, uh, volumes, you know, against actual. So what has actually happened? Is the truck in time? Is the vessel on time? Are the 12 boxes or the 12 pallets or the two containers are picked up? Or do we have actually de a, a, a deviation already in the, in the process? Yeah. Uh, what are our users involved? I mentioned before customer service, but this is probably just a customer facing role in your company. What about your planners? What about your dispatchers? What about your management team, uh, which certainly interacts you know, with all of these actors? And then talking about exceptions. Yeah, Exceptions is really, as I said before, is the right uh, goods picked up at the right time. But when I take the, um, take the example before where, 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 we, where we saw an end to end process, what about your customs processes, for example, right? Do you have all the documents provided in, in, in time so that your process can, can be smoothly executed by all actors? So this is what we want to see from an overall perspective and where our TMS Insights dashboards will, will help you, you know, to, um, to be performant and to be on time with the information and be proactive with the information. All of this we want to, uh, of course, have in an in intelligent way. So that means we don't look into data just now. We also want to uh, drill down. We want to analyze what are probably past patterns where we can improve. But we also want to be better in the future and where we want to estimate certain certain patterns so that, that it doesn't happen or we want patterns uh, to allow to happen so that we can actually you know, improve the process. So all of this we understand by an intelligent uh, process at the end. Looking at the use cases, so what, what do we want to achieve actually here and, and what are the um, steps we want to take? I mean, first of all, we want to get away from, um, from manual reporting, which would be you know, the, the worst case that you have papers, that you have uh, certain information which are manually. We want to get into digitalized, right? We want to be automated. But to do so, we, we see, as I mentioned before, and it's it's not uh, it's not something very negative, but it's something we we want to change with our customers together. Is that you come from different sources into one source? We understand that that you exchange access spreadsheets, you know, with your actors, that you exchange PDF documents with your actors. Um, this is not a this is not this is not wrong. There's, there's nothing wrong with it, right? And this is how how it, how it works today. But what we want to do is that we generate those information from a, from one central source, and that we that we get data back into this one central source, so that you don't have uh, disruptions, uh, breaks of media, and that you have to find five Excel spreadsheets before you can get uh, a kind of reporting uh, to either your customer, to your to your carriers, or to your internal stakeholders like the management, right? And we want to do it in a in a very uh, short frequency, right? We can do it daily, weekly, monthly. Um, this is what we want to what we want to be, right? Um, especially here in the context, of transportation management will be the source for it because you use it for your daily planning, you use it for your daily transportation um, execution. Yeah. So um, of course, all this could be also achieved perhaps with different tools. In our case, we decided to use the SAP Analytics Cloud. And the simple reason for this is the deep integration with SAP Transportation Management. Yeah, this is something very special. And with the HANA database below, it enables us to have all this information in our dashboard in real time provided to you, which of course will then enable this proactive. Um, actions that you can take, live alerting, and so on. For sure, Analytics Cloud does also offer state-of-the-art technology. You can use it not only on your PC or laptop, but also on mobile devices. So you can use it also with a touch screen, and it's very easy to use and enables you to collaborate 
in a new way by direct chat functionality having real-time alerts that are sent out to the right people at the right time everything that you expect from a system as of today now let's have a look and go into the next slide um, what does it really offer this dashboard well we have six pages as you will see in a few moments when we go into the live demo where we put the most important kpis on one screen available for you the different tiles show you different areas of inbound transportation outbound transportation and of course we do not want only to show pure data but give you um, a comparison base so we have enabled thresholds that do provide you a performance indicator are you doing well or are you doing not well how do you do versus um, the days before or the months before and with this we want to enable you to really not react but basically yeah act in the moment of time when you see something happening that you direct that you can be proactive and see right away where action needs to be taken and all of the people that have access to this data have the same set of information available and can discuss on this so let's have a look and take a look into the system torsten if you could share Mark, I just want to uh, probably show, show, show one slide to set the, to set the stage uh, for you again when we look at the dashboard. Um, I, I uh, have the same picture again, you know, using the end-to-end -end, um, process or the end-to-end -end picture, but I want to, to make it probably a little bit more, um, yeah, spot on, you know, to what you show uh, in, the, in the dashboards. You see the different transportation stages, you see the different colors, you know, that you're... Um, that your pickup leg and your, and your first ocean leg is, is kind of okay. And then in the second ocean leg, you get into your, your, your vessel get into trouble. Either it omits the port or it's delayed due to, to, to weather. Uh, could be could be different reasons. But you see that your uh, subsequent processes are kind of affected. It's not affected that you cannot uh, uh, promise uh, what, you have, what, you, what you want to deliver to your customers, but it's at least um, getting into a, a yellow status or orange status that you're aware that that something is is about to deviate yeah um, i put some kpis uh, on the bottom of the screen and this can be some kpis amongst others of course and you see some repetition here um, what we want to look at right from an end-to-end -end perspective is number of outbound orders so um, you have either decreased your your uh, production or increased your your your, your production of course, you need to take care about your about your carriers, your planners, you know, or dispatchers. They need to know that you have more orders, probably in peak times, where you know a lot of manufacturing customers or customers, you know, which are supplying right now retail, wholesale um, industries. They are at at the at the Christmas uh, season or almost over of the Christmas season already, and they have to get their uh, transports, their goods out of, out of the door. So it's really how do I how do my carrier performs? How do I, how how many carriers do I need? Do I need extra carriers because I have already reached peaks with my existing existing ones? So all of this can help you. Also, when you look at your facilities, you know how how are your doors? How are your gates performing? Um, is the pickups you know can can pickups be happen or happening as as it is planned, or do you have queues or do you have uh, uh, you know space which you can which you can give to others? And then, of course, um, the end-to-end -end supply chain. You you want to understand uh, the emissions, right? What what do you uh, produce in regards to CO2 equivalent? Um, when you look at the execution more from an from from an ocean, air, or road perspective, when the goods left your premises, premises, um, then you have, of course, uh, omissions. What I said before, right? Or, or delayed departures, either from a flight or from a truck. Uh, you want to understand what are your document statuses so that your international shipments can be executed um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a performant way. And then also loading times, you want to understand this. 
from an inbound perspective, you want to understand, you know, do I, how many inbound orders do I or shipments do I do I expect? Do I have the right staff, you know, in in my warehouses to actually, you know, uh, um, handle this this inbound this number of inbound shipments? Do I have damages, and why do I have damages, you know, on my on my inbound side? Is is there something wrong with the uh, overseas transportation, or do I have a problem, you know, in the setup of my warehouse or, or something like this? So also this you want to understand. And then, of course, uh, to the customer, you want to be on time. You want to understand, um, I, am I delivering on time? Is my carrier delivering on time? Is the customer feedback what I receive, you know, positive? Or are there complaints, you know, in either damaged goods or complaints in, in how my uh, product is, is kind of received, yeah? And then also look at at, the, at this feedback and, and, and improve. And you want to share with the customer finally, you know, what is the CO2 emission probably for this product, what you just purchased. So these are um, KPIs along the end-to-end -end process, uh, which we probably want to show a little bit more uh, in detail now with the dashboard. And over to you, Mark, to, um, to share our Team Insights dashboard. Okay, so um, we have six uh, pages in our dashboard, and perhaps you know that already from our other dashboards for EWM or Yard Logistics. Um, these are interactive dashboards. And I do not want to go through each every detail and KPI. I think you've seen already a lot of the content from uh, Thorsten. But with the overview sheet, we want to bring in the most relevant KPIs for you at one glance. What are the delivery quantities? What is the carrier utilization? over the past days or months. This is something which you can select very flexibly. Yeah, what is your freight spend here on a geolocation map shown? Incidents, interventions, non-conformances directly with the traffic light system so that you see how well are you performing? Do you already reach certain thresholds that you have set up or not? What are your emissions per source? And of course, all of this can be flexibly selected per country or factory that you have. We have the same with more details than for the outbound orders, yeah, where you can select, for example, a specific customer. And then, as you can see, all charts and KPIs are updated right away based on your selection. We do have inbound orders, of course, also um, to be shown here. Again, delivery quantities, what is the order pipeline, carrier utilization, the quantities per customer in our geolocation map. With regards to financials, again, we focus here on the most relevant ones. So what is the freight spend, logistics cost? average logistics cost with filter options for business units, product categories, factories, or your customers that you have at hand. Selecting um, the transport execution page, you can see what your carrier was. The transportation distance, again, the details about incidents, interventions, non-conformances, and the quantities per transportation category. And as the last page, what Thorsten also already mentioned is about sustainability. So what emissions do we have per category, per product type? Again, with filter options so that you can see where you have the most emissions per customer, business unit, or factory. If we go back to the slide deck, um, let's look at exactly what this brings to you. Well, all of this, as you have seen, will enable you to better react on exceptions. And actually, we want to give you the right tools to not react, but see um, exceptions as early as possible and take corrective measures to reduce 
these exceptions. Also, communication is key, especially when handling exceptions. Communication in such dashboards is automatically done when reaching certain thresholds or by easy and fast collaboration. Again, just as an overview so that you see what we have covered. We have the overview page, outbound, inbound orders, transportation financials, the transport execution page, and sustainability. Everything available to you on all devices. You can also set up an automatic broadcasting so that you or specific group of people receive this in an automated way as a PDF, as a PowerPoint, as you would like to choose. So what is now if we read, reach certain thresholds? These are exceeded. What are the roles and responsibilities? Well, this dashboard really helps you in setting this up because now you have the right tool and you can then select the people that need to be informed. Also, you can decide on, well, when do they need to be informed? Remember this traffic light system. Do you already want to go and inform people once you reach uh, a yellow threshold or only when the uh, traffic lights go to red? With Analytics Cloud and the TM Insights dashboard, you can decide how people are informed. If it's not business critical, you can just reach the people via chat or put a comment to a data point. If it's very critical, the system can directly generate this report and send it to the responding person. Everything as a built-in functionality from SAP Analytics Cloud. And this collaboration is really key to handle um, yeah, these exceptions. It's built in. You can also use the calendar functionality from Analytics Cloud yeah, to really um, share these reports on a regular basis. Everything uh, very lean and modern as you was expected from a tool nowadays. This was in a nutshell um, our TM Insights dashboard and we have now come to a close and would like to discuss with you any questions that you have. Thank you, Mark and Thorsten. We have collected some questions. The first question is, what's the prerequisite to use Vesna's TM Insights and does it come with plug and play? I can I can probably start uh, with the answer and then uh, Mark you can add if if I miss something. Um, so uh, as we talked you know for this webinar uh, as we focus on transport we would like to have a transportation management system in place or help you know to implement one and a half analytics on top of it. Um, DTM analytics uh, uh, dashboard comes on comes on top of it. It's a Westernacher asset which we bring into the into the project and it can be installed. Um, plug and play yes this is correct yeah and basically you only need um, transportation management of course as a, as a source system and bi licenses for analytics cloud and then our solution will be installed plug and play and then it's ready to go yeah so there's nothing for you to develop on of course it might be necessary or wanted by you to have customizations and in general it's a plug and play solution great thanks and the second question is which sustainability solutions does Westernacher have as part of the sac Westernacher already has a carbon footprint monitor in place yeah which came out of our own need to analyze our own carbon emissions at Westernacher. Um and we also have a carbon footprint 2.0 monitor in place, which is now also according to greenhouse gas protocol. So where you can really see the scope one, scope two, scope three emissions, everything directly, uh, all data taken from S4 HANA, so that you have an automated process and see in real time what your carbon footprint is. 
Yeah, and just add to this uh, from, a from a TM perspective, transportation management perspective, we have an own innovation, you know, which which plugs in or plays in into the TM insights, which is actually collecting uh, in 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 a, in a in a sense of of uh, measuring CO2 emissions in an aggregated way. Uh, we have an accredited uh, uh, me measure to do that via the CLAC framework, and it's uh, with a smart freight center together where we um, build this this solution for transportation management. So all of this data which we collect and which we uh, calculate in regards to CO2 will also play into the into the dashboard. What you at, at the end will also um, yeah see and uh, take decisions on. Thanks. As time is running out, I think we can only answer one more question, uh, which is in case we have a hybrid landscape consisting of SAP and non-SAP solutions, can SAC also consume non-SAP data for analytics and reporting? Yes, that is a great functionality from Analytics Cloud that although it's used best with SAP as source system, it can anyway also work with any other system. Analytics Cloud is part of the business technology platform as from SAP and therefore has all the opportunities from the BPP. Yeah? So you can connect um, SQL databases or other non-SAP systems as well as import file uploads. So be it CSV files, Excel files, if you have this kind of information, you can use this also to upload this on a regular way and then have this data shown in our dashboards in Analytics Cloud. Thank you all for joining. Thanks, Thank everybody. you. Have a good day. Have a good day.